if you've decided to take the plunge with Uniswap and buy your lotto ticket, things are looking pretty good here. When we look at the big picture, our MACD peaked, and then we've had a reset of our MACD, which is setting us up for a pretty good rally, which is already in progress right now. Big picture, as I mentioned before, this uh, I'm representing, well, I'm projecting all this as a large one-two setup with a powerful third wave that is underway. Like a couple of the other cryptocurrencies, such as with uh, Polkadot, Uniswap has a limited history, and with limited history comes limited confluence and, uh, and a little bit less confidence in the pattern overall. So I'm calling this a relatively high risk play for that reason. Uh, if we do hold our, if we if we make it to our wave one rally and pull back correctively in a, correctively in a wave two, our wave three could take us to $345 for a 12X return relatively quickly. But before we jump to that, let's look at what's been happening in our micro time scales. So just like with all the other cryptocurrencies I've analyzed, we have completed a very neat one, two setup here. We have a five wave rally that took us to about $31 and we have pulled back in an ABC corrective wave two, just short of our ideal target, which uh, would have been again, 30.2% retrace at least. Right now, this red line does not come into play. That would be our, uh, our warning line, but looks like things are looking good. We also had a nice MACD reset when we look on this image. Uh, that, that got us set up for this rally. We've been rallying pretty nicely. As I mentioned before, we're sitting at about $30.39. And if our pattern holds together, we have a third wave target in the micro scale of $48 to $52. And after a fourth of consolidation, our top overall in this wave will be up to what between $55 and $59. So that would basically be our larger wave one, which we're seeing here. And as, as I mentioned, 55 to $60 does put us right in that golden range we're looking for, for this Roman numeral one. If that holds together and we have a corrective wave two pullback, as I mentioned before, it's gonna be insane. We could go from $30 to 345 relatively quickly. That would be our third of the third, which is of course the most powerful of all waves in the Elliott, uh, Elliott wave universe, the third of a third or the third of a third of a third, whatever you want to call this thing, because that is essentially what this is. After that point, we could hit 12.05 after an appropriate fourth wave consolidation as our overall third wave peak. That would be our 40X plus return. Uh, I would suspect that the fourth wave consolidation after that would be somewhat more time consuming. Ultimately, we could get as far up, at, what, uh, far high, as far as 4,000 plus. So that would be I'm not even gonna calculate that percent right now. Now I do wanna uh, bring some caution to this bullish outlook. And this is regarding the red pattern that we have. I'm counting this red pattern as a one, two, three, four. And we're in a final fifth wave blow off top right now. This is a little iffy here because we don't have history going back on trading view for, uh, for uh, anything be before, what is that like? end of 2020, something like that. So I have to kind of simulate and project what this Fibonacci extension should be. So based on this, unlike with Polkadot cryptos, we didn't go as deep in our correction earlier this year as, as some of the other ones. When you go really deep, that gives you, a, I guess it makes it more likely that you're in a wave two correction. In this case, this could easily have been a wave four. However, at the same time, our blow off hit the 1.764 extension which is typical of, a, of an overall first wave of a fifth wave, whatever you want to call that. So point being, if this red pattern comes into play, we may not top anywhere beyond 67 to $98, which would still be a really good return, but then we'd be in for a heck of a plunge right after. So it's something I'll be keeping an eye on. Again, this pattern looks a little different on most of the other cryptos. I call it a uh, maybe a potential B wave rally followed by a C wave drop. But because of the shallow correction we had in this crypto in Uniswap earlier this year, I'm looking at this more of potentially a final fifth wave of, a, of an overall incomplete pattern. So uh, again, those were all rolled together. They're, they'd all correlate. Uh, if you're trying to get the Uniswap, still a good time to buy. Again, be careful with your allocation percentages. It's a high-risk crypto. And of course, always diversify. Buy a large basket of different kinds of cryptos, at least five or six just to minimize the risk. And aside from that, 
If you have any comments or questions, love to hear from you. Until next time, happy trading. Thank you for watching.